A nation in mourning. False news has arrived before me. They believe Ursun is already dead. My proposition will require a delicate touch. I speak the truth! Your god is not dead! He lies in the realm of chaos, a captive of the Shadow Lord. It is no lie. For one drop of Ursan's blood, I can help you save him. Choose your last words wisely, old man. <clears throat> Through your bloodline, you and the bear are one. See past your grief. Search your heart. Her son is alive. He speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. Silence! We have lost what is most precious. Many say I am at fault, that I no longer have the right to sit on this throne. So I stand. I stand with my people, all of you. And if it comes to it, I shall die with my people. We have been blinded by grief. Ursun lives, and while he fights to draw breath, we fight for him! For Orson, for Kislev, for Orson, for Kislev. Kislev marches north into hell. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Belakor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. A queen stands before her lifeless god. Vengeance cannot fill the void left by his passing. Orson, we did all we could. I am sorry. Kislev will fall. The god bear stirs. The face of a queen sparks new fire within his still heart. With Urson's roar, Kislev is restored. The crops shall grow, the beasts will fatten, and the motherland will prosper once again. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us? At the icy grave of Kislev's most glorious leader, I found the one I seek. Kostatin of Kislev, there is no price he would not pay to save Urson. And with the death of Tsar Boris Boker, he alone 
has belief enough to perform this miracle. It is a mercy that you cannot witness Kislev's desolation. Your son has been taken from us. I see it in visions. He bleeds, trapped and alone. Yet instead of worship, the Tsarina dallies with frost magic and courtly intrigue. Forgive me, my Tsar, but your daughter fails you. Doom comes for Kislev. Ah, the shade who follows me shows himself. I know where Urson dies, and I can take you to him. Lies will not save you, disciple of the Dark Gods. Listen to me. My book reveals a path to his death bed. I will show you the way for one drop, just one, of Urson's divine blood. Heresy, sin unbound! It will free me of a chaos sent curse. It will make me pure. And your faith, your faith will save your god. Bring your book. The motherland endures, whatever the cost. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Belakor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. The Zealot stands before his lifeless god. Vengeance cannot fill the void left by his passing. The god bear stirs. The faith of Kostaltin sparks new fire within his still heart. With Urson's roar, Kislev is restored. The crops shall grow, the beasts will fatten, and the motherland will prosper once again. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse, the taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us? The grave of Kislev's most glorious leader. If Tsar Borispoka did not slumber in ice, he could have safeguarded Ursul. How low the motherland has fallen without you, my Tsar. How God is taken from us. I see it in visions. His death draws near. And yet your fool daughter dallies in games of politics. If only you were here, you could save Orson. That it cannot be. I will keep the faith as Kislev dies. Farewell, my son. Poor Costalte. His zealotry blinds him to hope, deafens him to the cry from the cold void. But I hear you, Boris Boker. 
Your spirit stirs in Kisler's hour of need. Let me guide you to Ursa for one drop of his divine blood. A fair price to save the motherland. to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Belakor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. Azar stands before his lifeless god. Vengeance cannot fill the void left by his passing. The god bear stirs. The spirit of Boris Baka sparks new fire within his still heart. With Urson's roar, Kislev is restored. The crops shall grow, the beasts will fatten, and the motherland will prosper once again. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us?